lost it. Oh dear. I bet he found my button. Oh dear. Shriveled up in the cold and disappeared. Is that it? Okie dokie. That was an absolute delight as usual. I was going to go in the gift shop and buy something as a snack. But somebody came out and said the woman was like Hitler in there. So Fair enough. Plus I think it was just sweet. So I'd rather have a sausage roll or something like that. God, it's windy now. I hope you can hear us all right. Somewhere along here, you are in for a proper delight. Well, some people are, here we go. Look at this. Do you reckon that these people are swingers? I mean, look at that. Could they advertise it any more blatantly? Wow, I'm so impressed, both sides of the road as well. <laughs> that has made my day. That's probably the highlight of the trip. The, uh, the head of Northern Scotland Swinging Association. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so uh, where are we at? 400 and odd miles left to go. <laughs> so we block it back. Onwards and downwards, as they say. It's all safe from there. Maybe a bit of east and a bit of west, but it's safe. So there we go. More pampas grass. Oh, it's rife round here. La 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 la. Let's go. Hello. We are on 430 miles. Still trucking. 451 miles now. And the road still hasn't got boring. 500 miles we have done. And look at this Inverness. The sun has come out for me. Not a bad view, is it? Next stop is... Oh God, it's in... It's Perth, but... Uh, via the ski bits. So a bit of a drudge for a wee while. The delightful A9 in the wind. Just done Sloch Summit. I think that's how you pronounce it. 400 and something meters above the sea. Look at that. Wow, just opens up. Here we are on the A939, which is the road to the ski bits. Had a slight moment where I decided that I knew better than the sat now and turned off before it wanted us to done a great big detour, end up going over a little wooden bridge over a massive river a la Top Gear style all very exciting all the while cursing the, the living shit out of the sat nav and it was my fault <laughs> dickhead anyways currently on 548 miles we are now on the climb so Let's enjoy it. Look at that. Don't know if you can see it or not. I can only look to the side for so long. Currently 552 miles. And we've been on the road for 12 hours and 20 minutes minus uh, stops which 
fair, I've not been that long because I've not been aching as much as I thought. So I've, uh, I've basically whacked the fuel in, and uh, watch out for gravel on this bit. Whacked fuel in, and then uh, basically set off again. Didn't really get any hold up apart from uh, north of Inverness when I was heading back into it. Busy as I thought with camper vans. Look at that view, look at that. Absolutely burnt red <laughs> taking. It's in the dead ground, anything? Nope. There we go. Yeah, oh, the ears have popped, they must be high. for deadness on the road it could be a bit slidey in the corners amazing now it goes from dark to full sun it's absolutely incredible this and look at this look at the way it falls away whoa 13% Stupid European signs. The bridge of Brum and Tiru. Well, he managed to go there once, it's always been shut. Well, look at this bit. Imagine doing that in the winter. Or in a wagon. Test the brakes out. Look at the road surface. Yonk Yonk just rippled up. There it is, look shut again. All that height we've gained, we've just dropped in a matter of seconds. Look at this. Welcome to Moray, and then back up we go. 20% this time, that's even steeper. But it isn't. Oh, maybe it is. Look at this. Glad the sun's not facing us. That would be pretty difficult riding. Is that ruts? Straight on, yoink, oh no, oh no, oh, this is not what you want. Twenty percent and up we go, bouncy bouncy. Sunshine again. What a road. I do believe it's shut. Shut up. <laughs> oh, in Aberdeen, shut. Oh, look, I've got no sheep. Look at the view though. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah, lots of blind summits, you don't know. Quite how tight it's gonna be. Oh no, they've done it again, look. Shit, it's a fucking man on that game. Hell, oh, oh. Down. 
glad to say the view is nothing short of spectacular. Unbelievably good. We're in the wild now. Five hundred and seventy five miles. Only another few to go. Shingle track. Ah, oh, this bridge is ace. Look at this. Pop, pop, pop. Dun dun dun, I don't like that. <laughs> it's a big bird. It's another one. Get it that old, you stupid creature. See, understood that. In Scotland, you see. Talking its language. Now heading towards Bremer on the A93, I think it is. We're at 584 miles. Not far from Her Majesty's residence. Wonder if she'll invite us in for a cup of tea. Because I've done a lot of miles to come and see it. It's only a decent thing to do, wouldn't it? Look, look at that, look at the light! Oh wow! I don't think I can turn my head far enough. Red light and green, yes! They must have known how far I've travelled. Powers are back. Prepare to be. Well, not really dazzled because it doesn't look that nice, I don't think. I'm sure, it's rendered, or bits of it are rendered, and it just looks a bit shit. Bremar Castle. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of Balmoral, aren't I? You feckin' idiot. <laughs> oh, well, I've used all that battery up and I had the wrong feckin' castle in mind, look at that. Crap. It's nice, but it's not. You wouldn't travel miles to see it, would you? And on that note, bonjour. Valley. Hopefully, eat me pie somewhere along here. Have a little bit of a rest and a bit of a stretch. As long as the sheep stay off the road, we'll be alright. Well, I have just had a haggis pie. Very, very nice. I'll have that again. But we are at the top. We're a big climb down. And just two minutes ago, a feckin' wagon went that way. And I know that that road gets nudgery in places, so we might well be stuck behind him. Feckin' marvellous. Technical term, bollocks. But, bike's still in one piece. It's looking a wee bit mucky. 800 odd miles. Back tyre will be changed at the next service, more than likely front tyre as well. Thinking of Bridgestone A41's next, but I don't mind these metals that are on and everybody else seems to say they're fucking hateful. So to be totally honest, if the Bridgestone's are a rip off, I will get, try first gear lead, I will get the metals again. Right, 607.8 miles, 
I've put my neck thingy on because it was the wind is absolutely freezing. And once we get through Perth, it's the gritty push home in the dark. And then as we get towards Carlisle, because there's nowhere to do extra miles apart from around Carlisle. That's where we'll do a few laps if we need to to get the 800. Because by hook or by crook, I'm not packing up until I've got 800 miles. Although, I really want to have a little bit more than 800 because it's 800 on the bike's auto. Oh shit. Noticed them a bit there, I was looking across. Wow, look at all them. Not behind us. Hi guys! What a magnificent sight! Wow, look at the antlers on them! Wow! Look, they're waiting for the pals! Ah, the temperature's back up, which is nice! <coughs> 622 miles now. He's got a hankering for a whiskey. I think it's because I'm in Scotland. Yeah, it could be in deepest Perthshire. Look at it. Look at the fields. Nice with the clouds, that colour. 638 miles The light is slowly fading from us Quite sad when we leave the hills behind after you've been in them for so long Don't think we're that far from Perth Grab some fuel Rev up And make like bananas and Split. Welcome to Perth. We are on the hunt for our last fuel stop. So, for the final time, on our momentous trip. Let's do this. Begins more average speed camera drudgery. Surprisingly, I'm not that tired yet. I thought come half eight time I'd be uh, I'd be hitting a bit of a wall. That's usually when I'm at nodding donkey stage of the hump. So far, it's not happened. So keep an eye on the set now. Whack the cruise control on. Do a little dance and uh, enjoy the ride while we've still got life. Still it 682 miles, 130 odd to go. Look at the bra brick moon or something like. I think that's what they call it in Scotland. But look, trees have obscured it. <laughs> Starting on my second day. 722 mileages, 747 miles down, 67 to go, moon still following us, are we still chasing it, home run now, 788 miles, oh yes, just across the border, we're now in England. I'm gonna go on, peel the clothes off us, because I think I've grown into them. And then, I might have a little glass of wine, or a shot of whiskey, to round off 
Onlar bir nefesimiz de Paranlar bir nefesimiz bike Onlar bir nefesimiz road Onlar bir nefesimiz scenery All the drivers have been good, I've had no incident Not even a near miss with animals, one like last time where I passed a bird for a while Yeah, it's been uh, fucking out It's been an absolutely outstanding trip for everybody that's been watching and stuff with it Thank you ever so much Magnificent news! Saturday navigation here, Tom Tom says I have covered 803.8 miles at an average speed of 51 miles per hour in 15 hours and 15 minutes of driving. Uh, so we're back in the great border city of Carlisle. Uh, having covered more than 8 100 miles setting off at quarter past five in the morning we'll be home by what time is it now 22.54 if anybody fancies doing 800 miles in a day I can recommend a route absolutely unbelievably good roads thank you for watching I hope this hasn't bored you too much. But, uh, yeah, long distance riding. Everyone should do it. Get to know your bike. This thing has been absolutely awesome. Right, can we see the castle? Oh, we can. There we go. Carlisle's famous landmark. Hope it comes out on GoPro. Look, trees in the way a bit. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go now. Thanks for watching and get out and do the miles. It's absolutely brilliant. You'll come back buzzing from it.